And could I ask everyone to please rise for O Canada? O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land, glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this year's Remembrance Ceremony at the Wellington County Museum. On behalf of the Royal Canadian Legion, I would like to thank Mr. Kyle Smith for organizing this annual event and to all of the county staff who have helped place the commemorative crosses before you on the front lawn where we stand here today. The purpose of this ceremony is to honor all veterans in Wellington County who sacrificed their lives during World War I, World War II, the Korean conflict, and the war in Afghanistan. My sincerest thanks to all of the Legion members who are here today to read the names of the fallen, taken from the cenotaphs from the 10 communities in Wellington County. Before I conclude, I would like to share my favorite quote from former President Ronald Reagan. His words were as true when he spoke them as they are today. It is, in a way, an odd thing to honor those who died in defense of our country in wars far away. The imagination plays a trick. We see soldiers in our minds as old and wise. We see them as something like the founding fathers, grave and gray-haired. But most of them were just boys when they died. They gave up two lives, the one they were living and the one they could have lived. When they died, they gave up their chance to be husbands and fathers and grandfathers. They gave up their chance to be revered old men. They gave up everything for their country, for all of us. All we can do is remember. Please take your seats. On behalf of the museum, I would first like to say I appreciate and thank every single one of you for coming. Uh, we would like to thank the legions for helping to put on this event in association with the museum. I'd also like to thank all the county staff who've helped to put this on today. Uh, it's been a hard year for all of us, and I think it's important that even, especially during these hard years, that we have events like this. Uh, this gives us a real appreciation for the sacrifice that the people who are represented on these markers behind us have done so that we could live in a freer and a better world. They gave up their youth, they gave up their lives so that we could be here today. And through this hard year, I think it gives us an even greater appreciation for exactly what that sacrifice means. And it's important, especially on times like this, that we do the memory and remembrance that we can. I would now like to call up for a few remarks on behalf of the County of Wellington, the Warden, Kelly Linton. It's an honor for me to be here today representing the County of Wellington with all of you at the Wellington Place campus the week before Remembrance Day to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. This ceremony has been made possible in partnership with our local legions. Thanks for that. Like all other events in 2020, COVID has made even this important event 
hard to organize. But here we are today, thanks to dedicated county staff. Thanks for that. I'd also like to recognize the elected officials we have in attendance today. Senator Rob Black, Councillor Lloyd, Councillor Duncan, Councillor O'Neill, Councillor Breen, and Representative Erin, Local Councillor Brennan. These markers on the lawn behind me represent the over 500 individuals from Wellington County who gave their lives in the First World War, the Second World War, Korea and Afghanistan. Next week, we'll be remembering with a candle lit at each marker as a tribute to the fallen across Wellington County. This tribute will take place at dusk on November the 10th and the candles will remain lit until November the 12th. It's important to remember that these brave individuals gave their lives for a noble purpose, to protect the values that Canada holds sacred. Brave Canadian soldiers stood shoulder to shoulder with their allies across the Atlantic to fight against oppressors who threatened our shared sacred values, like the equality of all people, democracy and the rule of law, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, these values need to be as important to us today as they were when these brave Canadians fought and died for them in years gone by. Today I am honoured to join you in remembering and honouring those soldiers who fought, those who died, and those who supported the war cause back home. Their sacrifice was not in vain. For Wellington County, honouring wartime sacrifices goes beyond Remembrance Day. We have paid homage to two Victoria Cross war heroes by naming new streets here at Wellington Place campus after Frederick Campbell and Samuel Honey. Let me tell you a little bit about these two Canadians who gave their lives in the First World War. Frederick William Campbell. William was among the first Canadians to leave for the First World War. He led two machine gun crews on an attack on German lines in France on June the 15th, 1915. The fighting was so intense that Lu Lieutenant Campbell was severely wounded and later died in a French hospital. His courageous actions led to the posthumous award of the Victoria Cross. Samuel Lewis Honey, born in Caen, just east of Mount Forest, Samuel Honey worked as a teacher before enlisting in the 34th Battalion in early 1915. Following the Battle of Vimy Ridge, he received a Distinguished Conduct Medal for, valent, for gallant leadership after most of the officers in his company were killed or injured. After leading several successful attacks on enemy position, he died of wounds that he had received. So, in honor of these two Victoria Cross war heroes, we have named two streets here at Wellington Place campus that will bear the names of these brave soldiers, Samuel Honey Drive and Frederick Campbell Street. This will ensure that every time we see these street signs, we will remember the sacrifices of these men and the others from across Wellington County. God help us to have the strength of courage and the character of those we remember today. Thank you very much. We will now begin the honor roll, beginning with the branches from Arthur. First World War, honor roll, Arthur in West Luther Township. Edward Arnold. Andrew John Battelle, uh, Alfred Bond, John Henry Bowman, Stanley Houston Brocklebank, William Walter Burton, James Joseph Cantlin, Robert John Chambers, Arnold Carlton Cole, Alexander Mitchell Dunbar, William Harry Fessy, Norman Lloyd Galloway, Donald Gibson, Francis Gleason, Alexander Graham, Samuel Green, Wesley Green, Leo Patrick Griffin, Roy Haldane, Vincent James Hansen, Ira William Hathaway, Robert Elwood Hewitt, Samuel Lewis Honey, Joseph Alexander Houston, Robert Millette, Daniel Herbert McDougall, Thomas Gordon McTaggart, George Alexander Milney, Michael Riordan, Isaac Ritchie, Patrick Francis Skoll, Archibald Ivor Small, Robert Harvey Small, William Wallace Small, Con Con Connor Carriage Smith, Henry Tarney, 
Howard W. Tucker, Lewis Allen Tucker, Howard Washburn, Milton Samuel Waters, and George Stanley Woodcock. <coughs> the Second World War Honor Roll for Arthur and Arthur Township, William Nelson Bell, John A. Elliott, Charles Robert Flewelling, Michael Gaffney, Honest he Austin Heffernan, Raymond Seymour Hillier, Walter Jameson, Robert Caldwell Litter, Little, John Roddick Martin, Richard Irwin McConnell, Kenneth Joseph Pryor, <coughs> excuse me, William Leslie McFarlane, Samuel Park, Edward Pierce Povey, Thomas Roach, Alan Gilcrest Samuel, Robert Leroy Samuel, Frederick Joseph Smith, Schmidt, sorry, Leon, Leo Victor Schmidt, Ray J. Schmidt, and Clarence A. Shaw, Thomas Whitney Troughton, and Mervyn Hugh Waters. Drayton. First World War of Drayton. Carl Morrison Bentonson, Leslie Alfred Bickmore, John William Birch, John Cowan, Lawrence Laval Davidson, Albert Harvey, Alfred Henry, Merle Henry, Hugh Lloyd Hughes, William Wesley Roy Kennedy, John William McDowell, Leon Charles McLeod, William Nelson Riley, Harry Livingston Richards, Thomas Irwin Earl Riddles, Arthur William Waite. First World War on Maryboro Peel Townships, William Harold Burley, Henry C. Clark, George Craig, George Dixon, Norman Goodwin, Alfred Booth Dines, William Isidore Groshaw, William Wesley Roy Kennedy, Charles McGowan, Archibald Miller, Norman Oliver Riemann, Gordon Wilson, Thomas Booth Wilson. Second World War, War Drayton Maryborough on Peel, William Nelson Bell, Raymond Orman Cooligan, Howard Harold Bertram Downey, Gordon Alexander Farr, Harvard Gills, Victor V. Inneman, John Vernon Mauser, Robert Bruce Reed, Howard John Rolls, Ambrose Santa, Ira Walter Schantz, Thomas Allen Stone, Kenneth Ward, Irwin Ger Gordon Wilson, Clarence Albert Shaw, George Arthur Wright. First World War Honor Roll, Elora and Pilkington Township. John Charles Stewart Bell. Charles Austin Card. Daniel Oscar Card. Frank Keith Clark. Richard Haley Clark. Lewis Clegg. William Wells Cuthbert. Garfield Cutting. Albert Stanley Dickinson. George Stewart Dopperthine. William John Finney, James Clare Fisher, Frederick William Hagerty, Harry Halls, Henry Ezra Harpin, Arthur Hornsby, William John Kerr, John Alexander MacDonald, Frederick D. MacDonald, Charles McGowan, Alexander Duncan McIntosh, Gordon McIntosh, Archibald Miller, Edward Morphy, James Moynihan, Harold Joseph Riley, Alfred Vincent, Gordon Whistler, and John S. Coker. The honor roll for Nickel Township, First World War. 
James Colley, Walter G. Finney, Walter or William J. Finney, Gordon Finley, Frank Healy, Peter Pick, George E. Rogers, James Skew, Alexander F. Spears, Alexander C. Whitelaw, Lloyd Young, the honor roll for World War II, Booth Johnson, John Patrick Keating, Lorne P. Marr, Edwin L. Oakes, George W. Reynolds, Philip C. Revel. <clears throat> the Great War, World War I, William Arthur Berry, Thomas Bird, Norman Goodwin Broughton, James David Burt, Alexander Cochran, Charles Garfield Curry, Garfield Cutting, who was born and lived near and before moving to Elore, <clears throat> John Duncan Gear, Walker George Gibson, Cecil Houghton, Houghton, sorry, Cecil Holland, Clarence Elistus Hume, Roy Hurd, William John Jackson, Ernest Frederick Jeffries, Frederick Parker King, Gordon Franklin Leslie, William Brown Leslie, Daniel Herbert McDougall, again born in Erin before moving to Arthur, <clears throat> Charles Reed McLaughlin, Harold Falkland <coughs> McConnell, Archibald Roy McGill, John Alexander McKinnon, Daniel McLean, William Francis Murphy, Herbert Player, Harry Creighton Sanders, Ellis Scott, James Spears, George Sutton, Joseph Waldock, Frederick Willis, Edwin Clement White, Elmer Weston Wright. World War II, Edward Allison Anderson, James Douglas Barber, Everett Bessie, Ralph Poston Brady, Jerry Taylor Guthrie, William Maxwell, Alan Garfield McPhee, George Andrew Malozzi, Alan Edward Perryman, Douglas Philip Reed, Gordon Smith Reed, Errol Edward Wittes, Harold Leroy Young. Post-war, Douglas Melville Covert, Afghanistan, William Montague Turner. Thank you. First World War Honor Roll, Fergus Cenotaph. Frederick Beatty, David Alexander Black, Harold Hugh Black, Robert John Black, Samuel Stanley Black, Ernest Edward Blanchett, Russell Lewis Coleridge, Coleridge Russell H. Coulthart, Harry Ross Conlon, John Logan Cook, Frederick Stanley Das, Ernest Langford Davies, Robert Garfield Davis, James Edmiston, Ernest E. Farley, Island Bellwood Fish, Cecil Ernest Flood, Lawrence Tolmy Harrison, Joseph Howard, Everard Bell Imrie, William Johnston, Evan Francis Carouche, Frederick Sylvester Curvin, George Bertram Leach, Harry Frederick Middleton, Thomas Oliver Nesbitt, Rex Thurston Perry, William J. Ray, Luther Anderson Reddy, 
James Monola Richardson, Michael Ryan, William Simpson, James Henry Steele, George Hardy Stewart, Walter Edward Williams. First World War, West Garifraxa, Township Cenotaph, Walter Bellamy, David Alexander Black, William John Courtney, Henry Goodall, David Walker Gregson, Thompson Graham Hall, John Sidney Hanna, William Johnson Johnson, Ernest Spark McClelland, George Alexander Milne, Cyrus Young. Second World War Honor Roll Fergus. James Michael Bergen. Harold Morrison Bettinson. Alvin Cyril Campbell. Herbert Wilford Cudney. John Joseph Driscoll. Glenn William Elliott. John Samuel Flannery. Seth Jack Flannery. Fred Fletcher, Alan Henderson Golly, Ernest Gibbs, Thomas Edwin Hayward, Burton Dix Howard, Cecil John Jackson, Alexander Douglas Muir, William Leslie McFarlane, William Harry Prest, Elwin Robinson, Walter Sadler, Peter Alexander Tate, Second World War Honor Roll, West Garifraxa Township, Edward Pierce Povey, William Stanley Lutet, Arnold Edward Spicer, Charles Robert Fluing, Gordon Albert Smeltzer. Afghanistan Honor Roll Fergus, Brent William Lilly. First World War Honor Roll, Aramosa Township Cenotaph, Thomas Lenton Edwards. James Albert Gamble, Henry Hampson, Gilbert Lovelock, Robert John Mutry, Wilfred Oakes, Francis Arnold Phillips, William Wallace Salmon, Robert John Stump, Gordon David Winston. Second World War Honor Roll, Aramosa Township, Alfred James Edwards, Ernest Henry Geary, Lawrence Nellis Graham, Jerry Taylor Guthrie, Wesley Passmore Harris, Thomas Edward, Edwin Hayward, John Duncan Hiltz, Gordon Earl Mack, William Henry Parkinson, Donald Fraser Titt, George Robert Ware, Douglas Walter Wheeler, Charles Humphrey Wilson, Guelph Town Township Cenotaph, John David Hassan. First World War, Honor Roll Clifford, Douglas Bates, John Binkley, John Eggman Detman, 
William Allen Hood, Thomas Lougheed, Crawford William Newton, James Francis Welton, First World War Honor Roll Middle Township, James Harold Bacon, Douglas Bates, John Lloyd Bramhill, Joseph Broughton, George Clifton Carter, Henry Chilton, Archibald Hudson Ellis, Clifford Laidlaw Harrison, Dr. David Edwin Howes, Bernard Eldon Kennedy, Leonard Kirk, Charles Stephen Lawrence, Algon Lee, John Carlisle Matthews, Murray Alvin Matthews, Crawford William Newton, William George Reeve, Milton Seiler, James Slinger, Byron Walter Small, Lloyd Victor Small, Robert James Thompson, First World War Honor Roll Hairston, James Harold Bacon, Thomas Brown, Neil Hayward Campbell, James Garfield Cleave, Gordon Coburn, James Corcoran, Edward Fair Corkle, Gerald DeWitt Eady, Roy Ewart Gladstone Henry, Robert Alexander Hood, Thomas Phillips Johnson, Robert D. Jordan, Raymond Keelan, Erwin Alexander Kett, John Tyrwitt Kidd, Frank Scott Neal, William Padfield, Raymond Pritchard, Hugh McMillan Smith, Thomas Niven Sutherland, George Almer Wayne, Thomas Lids Lindsay Wilson, Frederick Ziegler. Second World War, Honor Roll Hairston, Robert Armstrong, Harold Stewart Butler, Samuel Wallace Craigmile, Russell Lloyd Hall, Kenneth Joseph Pryor, Donald William Schmidt, Edward Charles Tomlin, Second World War Honor Roll Middle Township, James Bell, Milton Evers, James Neil Gordon, Harold Gilkinson, John Albert Mock, Wilmot Gordon Wallace, Victor V. Inanen, Arnold Emerson Stinson. Mount Forest Honor Roll, First World War. Charles Robin Adair, Martin Calvin Baker, Harold Wheeler Bright, Alexander Brown, Peter Brown, Frederick William Campbell, Nelson Campbell, Alice Ann Olive Cook, John Cushney, Charles Donaghy, James Joseph Doyle, Donald Thomas Edwards, James William Fox, William Hughes Glanville, John George Henry Hyde, George Stanley Hunt, Charles Alexander Hunter, Robert Samuel Martin, Ernest McEwen, Robert Allen Morris, Ira Cooper Morrison, James Thomas Naismith, Walter Nethercliff Pass, Louise Pesuto, James Robbie, Patrick Francis Scholes, Michael Francis Shannon, Willis Smith, Douglas McLaren Smith, Howard Smith, James Russell Webster, Earl Austin White, and Charles Alexander Wilson. Mount Forest Honor Roll, Second World War. Thomas Stafford Bracey, Jack Campbell, Robert John Campbell, 
William Arthur Cawley, Jerome Aquinas Epoch, Ross Ernest Gardner, Donald Nicholas Keith, Erwin Archibald Lytle, John MacDonald, Hugh Charles McEachran, Orby McIntosh, Stephen Thomas McNeil, Vincent Leo McNeil, Leslie Raymond Neal, Austin Michael O'Donnell, Paul Vincent O'Donnell, John Walker Patrick, Edward James Patterson, Ralph Winston Pratt, Leo Francis Pringlemeyer, Robert Edward Ross, George Herbert Spears, Lorne Charmer Small, and John Scudamore. Honor Roll Palmerston, First World War, Ernest James Alder, Charles Joseph Bailey, Charles Blanchford, John Lloyd Bramhill, William Oldfield Bridge, Frederick James Britton, Joseph Broughton, Charles Seward Buck, Harry Corrigan, Elmer Deaton, John Vincent Desmond, J.D. Emery, Thomas A. Essery, George Everson, Joseph Corbett Hunt, Walter Ernest Lovett, Robert Jameson Marion, Graham Matthews, Daniel Milton McCochran, George Ernest Merrick, Albert H. Meyer, Horace Parker, Oliver Lawrence Pinder, William G. Reeve, Milton Seiler, Alexander Devere Skelton, Charles S. C. Southgate, Walter James Totten, Hugh Denzel Wilford, Second World War Honor Roll Palmerston, Thomas Borton, Ashford Herbert Burrell, John Austin Gallagher, John Burns Mallet, Stanley Verdon Weiss, William Thomas McMillan Jr., Robert John Wilson, Wilford Lawrence Wolfe, and Korea Palmerston George Earl Robinson. First World War, Honor Roll, Pushland Township. William Arnold Ames, Alfred Howitt Calvert, James Donald Clark, Alfred Crowhurst, Leslie Fenton Eagle, Frederick George Folly, Orman Thaddeus Gibbs, William Graham Shaw, Septimus Harrison, Adam Alexander Heller, Albert Edwin Herbert, John Thomas Herbert, Archibald McLean, John Alexander Martin, James Henry McIntyre, William George Morris, Louise or Lois William Munch, John William Monroe, William Palmer, Walter Penrith, Roderick Roy Alexander McKay Smith, Second World War Honor Roll Pushlands Township, Patrick Francis Wafer Joseph McGar, David Lorne Priest, Norman Frederick Fitton, Fraser Charles Weatherall, Gerald Bertram McEachran, George Alexander Stewart, William Alexander McLean. We honor them and we remember them all. 
shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old, 
Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. I would like to thank everybody for coming. This will conclude, this will conclude our ceremony. Um, I would also ask that everyone get a chance to go and visit the markers at, down on the front lawn. They will, be op they will be on until just after Remembrance Day. Um, I would also ask if you would please, if you want to come and see the Remembrance candles, which will be lit on the evening of the 10th, all the way through the evening of the 11th. Uh, and I would just like to thank all of the legions and everyone else for coming and remind people to visit these markers, read the names, try to find someone on that lawn, go onto our website, you can find the Remembrance database that's on there, you can read more, you can see pictures of these people who are on there, learn more about their lives and find someone who means something to you, whether it's someone who has a birthday, who it's associated with yours, whether it's somebody who shares a name with a son or a daughter, find someone who means something to you and learn about their lives. Um, this is something that we have on the museum lawn until November 11th, but this is an entire year where you can remember. Um, for myself this year, I'm particularly thinking of Alice Cook, who was from Mount Forest. Alice Cook was a young woman during the First World War who served as a nurse. And when she saw young men coming home after the war who were dying of a particularly horrific ailment, a pandemic that was traveling around the world, she joined right in. She did her part and she started serving as a nurse in a hospital in Toronto. Uh, tragically, she succumbed to the Spanish flu and died and is listed as one of our memorial markers in our role of honor, Alice Cook from Mount Forest. I'll be thinking of her this year. And I would ask that every single one of you and everyone at home to please find someone who means something to you and treat this whole year as an act of remembrance. In the meantime, I would just like to one more time say thank you so much for coming and please have a nice day. Thank you very much. Yeah.